Thanks for joining me today. I'm Spagaver. This is Spagaver Backpacking. Last night, Rain Man and I met up, uh, hit the trail about an hour, hour and a half before sunrise or sunset, not sunrise. Uh, came the 6.4, 6.5, whatever it is, in here to the Fiddler Creek shelter that we're at. And rather than looking around to try and find some trees, we set up in the shelter, hung our hammocks in the shelter which would be rude if there were other people around, but it was already dark. I didn't think anyone was coming in. And uh, so that's how we set up. Makes for a real convenient hang. Uh, we'll show you that in a little bit. So we're out here for uh, four days of hiking-ish. So we did a little over six last night. I think we've got 17 today and 17 tomorrow. And then I think five for the final out. So we're doing about 45 miles. We're back on the Washita Trail. And so we, uh, last night, crossed 100 miles of the trail done. Uh, so as we continue to try and knock it off, that's, that's where we're at. Beautiful day so far this morning. Just getting some coffee going. Rayman's over here getting some breakfast going. But it's gonna be, man, beautiful day. So here's how we here's how we hung last night. So we came in here and we got set up. We used the rafters, ran our suspension around it, and we've got Rain Man set up on this side, my setup on this side. But it made for a, a nice place to hang out of the wind and just kind of uh, an easy, quick setup.
day. Finishing up the day right now with a uh, mango, pineapple, jalapeno margarita. Not a bad end to the day. Did about 16-ish, maybe a little over 16, maybe a little under 16, 16-ish miles today. Beautiful day. Uh, the weather was just absolutely perfect. Trail was good most of the way. I think there was about a three, two to a three mile stretch right before Suck Mountain that kind of, the uh, the trail was really, really overgrown and really wet and muddy. Other than that, just great. Butterflies are out. There's wildflowers out. I stopped and picked some blueberries today. Uh, just an awesome day on the trail. Uh, haven't had a, a day like this on the trail in a while. And one of the things that I was I was happy about is I'm using the, the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail FGs. Um, now, last time I talked about them, I was using the, the cork insole. I pulled the cork insoles out, and I'm running no insoles at all in them, and I really prefer them that way. So I had them first with the, the performance insole. Didn't like them at all. The cork was a step up. But I think without them, it just gives my, my feet a little bit more room in there. And it actually slides on the on the bottom a little bit more. And so it doesn't create any hot spots. And so it works really well for me. Ah, man, what a day. So happy to be out here. Uh, had, had some outdoor pantry for dinner last night. I had some packet gourmet for a late lunch today and I'll have some more outdoor pantry for dinner tonight. I'll bring you along and, and show you what I'm cooking up in just a little while. All right, dinner tonight is the outdoor pantry chicken pot pie. It only takes three quarters of a cup of water, so I've got that on right now when it comes to a boil. I'll pour it in there and let it sit says uh, mix it up, five minutes, add the crust, let it stand for uh, another three minutes, so it'll be good. For this trip, I'm using the Spagaver stove. It's the modified one that has the top lip of the can and my Foster's pot, which holds about 12 ounces and then a homemade lid with just a little piece of cord in there to pull the top take a look in there that is some good looking stuff right there let me show you man that stuff is really good all right so let's give it a try you see it there it's pretty thick mm. that is so good wow So the hammock that I brought out here this weekend is my brand new Trailheads Wraith UL. And this thing is, it's the 1.0 Monolite, which is crazy how see-through it is. So I don't have the under quilt under it right now. It's kind of pulled off to the side up here. And I don't have a top quilt on me. It's draped over the top. But, I mean, just, it's kind of cool because you can see out. You have like a 360 degree view all the way around you. Um, and it's, it's just cooling off enough that it feels really nice laying in here right now after a, a, a nice warm day out on the trail. Uh, so far, two nights in this, and both have been really comfortable. Uh, slept pretty well last night, and uh, looking forward to two more nights in it on this trail, on this trip. And, um, man, it's just been so good to get out have new stuff to to play around with like this wraith and uh man just good
great day on the trail. Today was another beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Uh, this is probably the first trip in, uh, I don't know, maybe even ever, that we've been out multiple nights and I've not strung up a tarp one night. I'm not stringing a tarp tonight. It it shows 1% chance of precipitation. So um, I think we're pretty safe and it's just been amazing. A little bit warm. When you were in the sun on some of the climbs that we were on, it, it got a little bit warm, but not, not horrible at all. <laughs> the, uh, so word of the day was ticks. Uh, we probably pulled, I don't know, 40 off each of us. Uh, most of them weren't, weren't in, they were just on us. You know, we did permethrin, uh, and picardin. So those that were on us, most of them were dying, but we did have a few that were embedded that we had to pull out. Just kind of the, the deal with this time of year. Trail's pretty overgrown and not, not the fault of anybody. I mean, this, the whole COVID thing, no one's been out, no one's been doing trail work, uh, and no one's been on the trail kind of beating them back. So, you know, it is what it is. It was a little bit overgrown, but it's been good. So we did five miles this morning. We stopped, got a shuttle into Story, Arkansas, and went to the Bluebell Cafe. Now the Bluebell Cafe is ranked one of the top 20 long trail restaurants in the country. So, you know, AT, PZT, CDT, Vermont Long Trail, Arizona Trail, Colorado Trail, Wonderland Trail, all the Pinhoti Trail, all, all the long trails, Florida Trail, uh, of all of them, that restaurant, which is really just a, a gas station slash convenience store slash uh, small little cafe, is ranked one of the top 20. And the burger did not disappoint at all. So if you find yourself on the OT and you're looking for, uh, they gave us a shuttle. It's about three, three and a half miles from the, the trailhead down to their, their cafe. Shuttled us for free. We went in, ate, they shuttled us back. After we got back on the trail, we did about seven, seven and a half miles. And they came to a, a pretty good river and hung out at the river, filtered. I got in the water a little bit, cooled off. It felt great. Then we did uh, about five and a half to here. We ended up with about 18 on the day. Uh, it was a good good day. Uh, I actually feel really good. I think I've got three, four miles left in the legs, but we're going to, we're going to stop here. And then we've got about five on the way out tomorrow. Um, it's been a great, great trip. Beautiful, beautiful trail. Not much in the way of vistas or views as you're hiking it, just because of everything being overgrown. I mean, it's such a thick forest that even when you're up on top, everything's got is still closed in so you don't get a whole lot of good views we did get one just about it was about a mile back 1.2 back on the trail from here uh opened up and it was just gorgeous and so we took advantage of that sat hung out there for a little while and then finished up the trip in um so yesterday was a, a great day today was a great day we did a little over 16 yesterday a little over 18 today uh man it's just nice to be out so after we get everything hung up, I will come back and show you guys our setups. But the other thing, I brought out different margarita mixes for each night. So Friday night we had one, Saturday night, yesterday night we had one, and tonight we're having the third one. And then I'll tell you which one wins. Uh, now it's kind of not a fair comparison because Chris Rainman also did bring some pineapple jalapeno tequila that we mixed with the mango margarita mix last night, and that actually turned out really, really well. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of the margarita, the mango margarita by itself, but mixed with that tequila, it was pretty damn good. Um, that burger, though. Whew. And what have I got for dinner tonight? Let's see, what's in here? Not much left in the food bag, but for dinner, nope, that's a different one. Ah, homestyle turkey dinner. So that's what we're gonna do tonight, homestyle turkey dinner. If I'm still hungry after that, I have chicken fried rice. That is one of my favorites. And then while we were at the store, I picked up a couple of little things that they had, uh, some fresh baked goods. And those will probably be after dinner snacks or something. So, all right guys. All right, so what, you, what hammock do you have with us this weekend? I have the Dream Hammock Darien. 
in a 1-3 Mountain XL. Black and red, black, black and red, red under quilt. Got the black and red uh, glow in the dark pools. A local Libre operator under quilt. And a uh, Cedar Ridge outdoors top quilt. Okay, so local Libre under Cedar Ridge top. All right, mine's over here, other side. And that is the Trailheads Wraith UL. It's a Monolite 1.0 with a, I think a 0.5 nano mesh bug net. It's in black and blue, the stitching's all in blue. The two uh, peak pieces are in blue and then it's got the uh, Dyneema Ridgeline organizer. And I'm rocking the uh, Local Libre Operator Series, the 50 degree, both top and under quilt. And that's uh, about it. And hang time hook, always. What about you? Hang time hook? Always. It's like my American Express. I don't leave home without it. And then we got these. Oh, so this was the, the mix we used tonight. And that is the, the winner. One. Yeah, that one. That one's the one. We had about five miles today, just about done. And it has been just a great morning. Got woke up to the birds. They were extremely loud this morning, uh, about 5 a.m. Almost sounded like an alarm clock going off. So we got up, walking through a bunch of uh, spider webs as we go down the trail now. But the Washita Trail, it's a 220 mile long trail. So it is one of the long trails, recognized long trails, national scenic trails here in the US. It's got a lot of challenges, a lot of really fun areas on it. It's a very diverse, uh, it's got, you know, rivers you're crossing, it's got mountains you're going over. Now, granted, they're not California or Colorado or even Appalachian type mountains, but they are the rugged and some points they're extremely steep and, and challenging. 
This trip took us past a few, few milestones, took us over the 100 miles, uh, took us past the 110 midpoint of this trail and uh, put us past the point where there's less than 100 miles left. So of the 220 miles, when we finish today, we'll have completed just under 140 with about 45 coming this weekend. Great, great weather. I, I can't even, man, maybe Rain Man has, has kicked the curse and we get to give him a new trail name at some point. I don't know, we'll see. But this was, man, we could not have asked for any better weather than what we got this weekend. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, any comments, I changed things up and did it a little bit different on this trip. And I wanna know what you guys think of that. Was this a successful video for you? Or was this one not quite up to the standards? I wanna know, I wanna know what you guys think of this one. Uh, I did wanna try doing what I'm doing on this one, so we'll see what you guys think. Comments, feedback, leave them down below. If you haven't done so before, go hit that subscribe button. Right next to it will be a little bell icon. You hit that, you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. Lots of gear reviews coming. A lot more trip stuff and the big trip the tahoe rim trail through hike later this year in september so make sure you guys stick around make sure you hit that subscribe button i will see you guys down the trail